Hey, Christina. Hey, Doug. How you doing? I'm doing good. Oh, I'm supposed to say, so, Christina. So, Doug. Sorry, I messed that up. <laughs> Been so long since I've interviewed you. Oh, I know. So you said something to me that I thought was interesting. Oh, boy. <laughs> so I think you got together with a bunch of your friends from high school. Yep. When you were up north. Yep. And one of them asked you a question. And what was that question, if you know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking about. A okay. friend of mine in conversation asked if I regretted doing what we're doing now. And without hesitation, I said, I do not regret doing what we're doing now. So why would she think that you would regret it? Well, she was asking from the perspective of money, I think, because oh, okay. she recently went from a full-time job to reducing her hours down, it sounds like two days a week, mm -hmm. and so financially, she was asking me, like, how do we do it, mm -hmm. and I explained to her that, you know, it's a, for me, I mean, it's, it's different for everybody, I'm sure, but for me, it's a mindset, but it's really about just being okay, feeling satisfied with what you have, um, not feeling like you have to have new cars all the time or new things for where you're living or new clothes um, just being satisfied and maybe when you have extra money instead of it being put towards that stuff you put it towards experiences okay so that was it so to boil it down it's about being content it's about being content where you are and what you have at the time yep for us it was about getting debt free which, anytime anybody asks me about this, I say, I don't know about for you, but for me, <laughs> you can't live this lifestyle and service a bunch of debts and right. have yep. exactly. lease payments and loan payments and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. that so, it might take years. Yep. Might take you years to get there, but uh, if you're successful in changing your mindset, listening to people like Dave Ramsey. I always like to give a plug to Dave Ramsey. Here's where we are right now, heading towards Daytona and Sanford. Um, once you get that free and you find that you can be content with an older car or a paid-for motorhome or camper, a uh, mortgage on your house that's paid for, it's amazing how little money you can actually live off of. Yep. Mostly then, it's just like property taxes and insurance and stuff like that. Power bills and cell phone bills and all that stuff's never going to go away. Well, and it's funny, yes. when, I went, when I went home, mm -hmm. I kind of like looked around our house and our garage and I was just like, we need to, we need to... Purge? Yes. <laughs> purge again? We do. We, yeah. we need to purge again. I feel like we just... You accumulate too much stuff. Look at the roads here. They just can't build them fast enough. So many people moving to Florida. So I digress. That's all I had to say. Is that all you had to say? That's all I had to say. Okay. So what is next for the Happy Wanderers? Tell people what's going on with the current job. Um, with the current job, we are here till April 25th. Where are you? Okay. Campground is closing. KOA. So we KOA, and so we are closing for good on that day. <clears throat> and then we're heading up to uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, to go see some wonderful friends of ours who happen to be coworker and managers um, <clears throat> of our original first work camping truck. And put a little free plug in for the, one of the greatest campgrounds in the world. <laughs> They're uh, Yogi and the Smokies. In Cherokee, right in Cherokee, North, North Carolina, Carolina, on the Indian Reservation. Yeah. The Cherokee Indian Reservation. We love it there. Nestled right in the mountains on um, the Raven Fork River. Yep. Three miles up from a big corporate owned KOA. Mm -hmm. Seven miles on the big, big, cove, big cove road. <laughs> <laughs> and Listen to me, folks. Do not follow your GPS up there. Oh. 
It will put you on roads that will destroy your camper. So get directions. And I cannot stress this enough because we had people going in there off of the Blue Ridge Parkway and they literally were ruining their campers by following GPS. GPS doesn't always know the best route if you have an RV or you're towing or whatever. So there's your word to the wise for the day. Okay, so how long are we going to be staying at this said campground? Well, that we need to figure out. I thought it was four nights. You thought it was longer, but at least four nights. In half a mile, keep okay. left at the fork to stay on four And then and from there, we're going to be north. heading home. And, and then what are you doing for the summer? What am I doing? I don't know. That's a big question mark for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Figure it out. I'm not worried about it. So stay tuned, folks. You'll find out what we're doing for the summer. I wouldn't be surprised if it includes fixing out of fixing up a vintage camper or two. And I might get my CDL. So like I said, stay tuned. Might be driving bus. <laughs> driving truck or driving bus. <laughs> we'll make sure we keep it singular, right? That's right. That's right. So folks, don't forget to subscribe share and like and what's another thing that you can do? Comment on our videos? Sure, absolutely. Feel free to comment on our videos. Do you have any questions or concerns? Concerns or comments? Positive comments would always be appreciated. <laughs> have a great day. Hey there people in YouTube land. We hope that you are enjoying our videos and if you are please like, share, and most importantly subscribe. Thank you!